Hello and welcome back to another episode of Alien Stark Descent. My name is Saiken and today we're going to uh, continue and hopefully complete our uh, blind playthrough of Nightmare Difficulty. We are in the last mission. Our only job is to save Cassandra. And I don't know if this is just going to be an epilogue of sorts or if there's actually going to be something meaningful, but I wanted to do a epilogue anyway so i assume it's a real mission strange doesn't it humanity was never meant to be here we're not wanted this place is as big as a city there's a data pad might as well read a bit of lore Price, Dr. Carl, I'm sorry to hear about the staff, but I knew, uh, but they knew the risk. Rest assured, what remains of your escort is enough to get you out, but we're not done with uh, all Dubai. Uh, see, it's all the samples, eggs, and specimen coming from Xeno City immediately retrieved and brought to me, but don't go through the spire. Uh, these fanatics have their eyes everywhere, even in Pharos. Uh, use accreditation uh, key attached. Mirroring level should get you the authority you need. Next, upload the data you mentioned, multiple terminals. Um, gather as much data as possible and move straight to Pioneer Station. I'm readying a shuttle for your team. These assets need to reach the company. I'm sure your sacrifices won't go unnoticed. The board will hear about it. You have my word. Uh, I trust in you on this. Good luck, doctor. So they were in from the beginning. Everything else was a lie and a poor one. Like these guys run out of fuel. Welcome to my tomb. Who the fuck are you? His legacy. How many synths has this guy made of himself? Where's Cassandra? Oh, you're looking for the voice. I'm afraid you'll have to go deeper into our sanctuary. Shouldn't we just shoot this guy? Go ahead. Shoot me. You humans and your obsession with me. Okay, then. Enjoy the entropy. The original one died of Xenos. How fitting. Everybody died. Why don't they learn that you can't control them? There's potentially someone coming up here. Can we plant a mine? No, we don't have that skill. We only have shotgun and grenade. We keep it simple. Oh. Oh, hi there. It appears we have visitors today. Give me a fucking break. It's so lovely to have you here. Look how well she worked. One cannot cease to be a to think these corporate fools believe they could harness their power. How amusing. I wish I could have been there. When they first try, man meeting the ultimate organism, your innocence also. One thing's for sure, that guy loved to hear himself talk. <laughs> Good, what else? Um... I know these things are dangerous, and trust me, I get your terms. Uh, uh, I get your teams are angry. They made that abundantly clear and tried to beat me up in the mining tool, but we gotta keep up. Well, uh, and Utanian wants these eggs, so we go on. We use massive hangars to build. 
and then we got Croissant, Elanor Croissant, and I would have dared to dream of this moment, 47 years of space exploration, 13 as commanding officer, not a single discovery worth mentioning, then uh, Tribonite, even enough to make the Fletchers happy. And then the city, I can't wrap my head around it. My chief scientist offered to believe it could predate humans by several millennia, imagine that. And that's a bit of the alien lore right there. They can't really place any mines here or do anything in that regard. It's just a ginormous city. A bit overblown to do all of that for one person. This place doesn't end. Where's Cassandra? She's potentially already dead, fused into a Xeno a Zeno something. Gigantic. This whole planet's a freak show. So, this used to live in that city? Probably. See its chest? This was a host for one of those creatures. How long has this thing been here? This ain't the time to be playing archaeologist. Come on, there's a passage over here. There you are. I suppose you've met the owners of these premises. There's so much we could learn from them just by walking those galleries. That's it? That's all you had to do, uh, say? Yeah, yeah. Thanks for the tip. We have unlimited command points. Three of them kick ass if you do have unlimited commando points. It's actually not bad. No wonder they didn't want to give me mines. Imagine that, cycle with unlimited commando points placing mines. And we're not even getting stress. See, this is how the game should have been developed. Still can't understand why you would nope, not this way. create a game with such an addictive combat and then essentially prevent any combat. Or oh, disincentivize it so much so that it's not a valid strategy. I like that one here. That was a very valid strategy.
Double shotgun. Yeah. Uh, they need to make a mod, unlimited command points, no stress, and then that game might actually go down very well. Throw the whole stealth thing out of the window. And go for a more he hero uh, heroic approach. I can just discover the triple grenade. What a massacre. Yeah, we are not even having health. I think this is storyline modus. We don't have health, no stress. Guess we found the big ass version of damn eggs. Doesn't matter how big you are, this creature will adapt. This way, don't be afraid. You don't exactly match what they were made for. Do we really have to do this? Seems like a terrible idea. I'm afraid we have no choice. Out of curiosity? No. Not even a scratch. What could possibly happen to you? Hurry up! The eggs! They're opening! <laughs> Relax, you're fine. I'm only kidding. See? You've made it. Cassandra's not far now. How's that for a prank, huh? Oh wow. They're here. Enough of these damn synths. Permission to engage. There are dozens of them. Save your ammo and focus on finding Cassandra, Sergeant. Hmm. You, you that have come this far, take her. But you have to promise. Promise you will take care. Years of research. Decades. She's the pinnacle of our maker's work. He who has sacrificed so much. If only he could stand with us today. To witness Cassandra's first steps. To finally reach the culmination of human evolution. She is the only voice the hive answers to. The bridge between your two species. The door. To Xenosynthesis. Can you hear me? Who, who are you? I'm a friend of your father's. Dad, he's here. No. 
It's making up. <laughs> Guys, I have a bad feeling about this. We need to hurry. <laughs> Oh, wow. What a massive massacre. So we need to get to here. Of course, the two guys needed to die, and she's running away Stay with uh, her. Mm, more are coming. Shotgun. Good, we're running to here. And... Uh, Okay, I think we lost Cassandra on our way, but okay. It's not like I can't get past that thing. It seems to have unlimited hit points anyways, or infinite. I find it cute how at the end the one that is least combat savvy is just taking shots like a boss. Yeah, well, I'm getting out. I don't know about you. Cassandra. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now she controls it. Okay, the third guy sacrificed himself for his daughter. That one I can understand, but the other two were completely unnecessary. Let's get the hell out of here before these nukes detonate. Twenty percent. We did it. We did it.
Wow, we got a lot of achievements right off the uh, bat. Well, guys, that was it. That was Alien Dark Descent. A, I will do a full review of the game and maybe also a few guides. Uh, the storyline was fascinating. I don't personally like sacrificial endings where everybody just sacrifices themselves for private Ryan. That, yeah, not uh, is really my forte. But other than that, the storyline was absolutely well written. Um, game was fun. I had my fair share of gripes with it as well, which I uh, certainly will elaborate in the uh, review. But I think for a blind playthrough, the game definitely delivered once you kind of got rolling and understood the mechanics of the game and knew how it wanted to be played. It became enjoyable, um, although quite intense over long periods of time because you were always on the cusp of not wanting to kind of go in too hard and not raise suspicion from the aliens because that was so uh, detrimental. Had I known that the last mission is actually not a two-parter mission, I I thought that our main team would be uh, would have been drafted for that last mission. Um, I would have potentially used the level uh, nine, uh, level ten marines even. So that's a bit of a waste. I did not get to see what the plasma rifles really looked like. Uh, they apparently were kick-ass. I mean, really good weapons. I also think that the uh, that the just from a playability perspective that the uh, nuclear timer wasn't really clear, at least for first timers. It was unclear just how fast you need to go. We finished the time, uh, we finished the game with nine days out of 20 to go. So essentially, if I would have pushed a bit harder, which I was about uh, to do in one of uh, the missions, I would have used only half of the time that the game thought was necessary on the very hardest difficulty. So um, I'm not 100% sure if that's good pacing of uh, the game. Um, it would have been good to just get some more uh, some more feedback. I wasn't sure when when I was even able to take a break or not. The whole doom clock thing was unclear. Yeah, but other than that, it was uh, good. Uh, noticeable villains up on each side. Marlow was fine. Uh, Commander or Captain Price or whatever she was uh, called. Uh, the um, Effectively, the, the leader of the planet was was fine. But yeah, I mean, it was good. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. If that's the case, then let me know if you like the ending down, uh, down below. Let me know if the game was appealing to you. And that uh, truly would be appreciated. And as always, see you on the next Let's Play. And have a good day. Bye-bye.